Oh my god. Welcome in, man. Welcome in. Welcome in, Sky Command. Welcome in. Welcome in, man, everybody. I turned my head for a second. I look back and chat is just blowing up. OMG. Holy Sky Command, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Captain Nabib, thanks for the follow. Uh, enjoy your joyride and good old 1 8 Romeo in the top left corner up there. Uh, DH Paradox is resubscribed. Nice. Nice. Thanks for the support, Paradox. You're, you know, as you know, the hangar door is always open for you, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sky Command rating with 22 viewers. Oh, wow. wow. Awesome. Right? Wow. That's great. Um, let's see. Catching up, catching up. Paradox got his points. Yes. Bonjour, says Viking Hammer. Yep, yep, it's okay. It's all good. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's going pretty good, Viking Hammer. Thanks. Thanks for checking in. It's going good. We took a little streaming hiatus there for about, about three weeks or so at the end of summer. Um, just to spend time with family and stuff, because my wife works in the school district. My youngest is a senior in high school, so made a trip out to New York with my youngest. Uh, we don't ever hardly travel, um, so that was a great experience. And uh, yeah, just, you know, it's funny how you get rusty just over like two or three weeks, you know, um, and just getting back into the swing of things. So position one with no points. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Exclamation points. Captain Nabib has zero points in his rank one out of 427 <laughs> on the leaderboard. How did you do that, man? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's see. 
Chunky Flyer. Good evening, Chunky. Yeah. Good evening, DH. And everybody that I didn't see on uh, uh, chime in on the on text on the chat box. Yeah, welcome in. It's a uh, treetop flyer, my in real life next door neighbor, and my good friend and and co-host here at the hangar. How you doing up there, good Tree? Evening. Hey, how you doing down there, Fox? Hey, doing good, bud. <laughs> looking, looking good down there. <laughs> uh uh chunky has zero points and is ranked 32 there's something wrong with that what is going on with that thing viper strike checking in good evening viper strike welcome in oh man you guys gotta check out viper man he does such great tours uh prepared slideshows and he's a great moderator here at the hangar as well so thank you for your Now you got to hear that as what does the flocks say, right? You know, if you listen to it you, you, from now on, you'll hear flocks. He doesn't say fox. He says, what does the flock say? Flock says, welcome to the hangar. Welcome in. Um, yeah, it looks like my, uh, uh, the stream is, or sim is frozen there, DH, uh, Treetop just had a similar problem, and he hung out, and it fired up, but did your did yours <coughs> stop spinning where it says checking for updates, Tree, did it, uh, or was it I'm spinning? I'm trying to recall, it, it went an absorbent amount of time, I would give it another minute, okay. at least, and while we're waiting, of course, if we're doing uh, bat sim tonight, and we'll be using a phonetic alphabet, so of course I have to have my little cheat sheet here. Not that I don't remember most of them, but sometimes you get a mental pause, so it's always nice to have a little cheat sheet right there. Of oh yeah, Romeo, that's it. Whiskey, Romeo I, I think and I, whiskey. Or I think I, something. I think I spilled some whiskey on mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got a I've got a little stripe, but I think that was from my uh, my toner cartridge. But uh, maybe it's whiskey. Maybe it's red <laughs> wine. Who knows? Oh, Epic says he won't be with us tonight. He's flying a tugboat. Also, here's a riddle: If you're flying in the desert and your boat gets a flat tire, what do you have in your pockets? Hmm. <laughs> if your says boat a gets a monkey. Uh, if you're if you're flying in the desert and your boat gets a flat tire, what do you have in your pockets? Oh boy! Uh, and your boat gets a flat tire. Uh, uh, either a valve stem or a lifeline. Well, I'm hoping a spare, maybe spare change in my pockets, but I'm hoping I have a spare if I get a flat tire. Whiskey Tango from Sparky. Nice. I don't know. What do we have in our pockets, Epic? Is is Chunky right? A, a, a monkey? Come on, Sim. Come on, Sim. Everybody, put 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 your hands towards towards the. The monitor and wish my sim good luck firing up come on sim come on sim tree you're doing it <laughs> uh, uh, ice cream because ice cream doesn't have bones oh uh, i don't get it i don't get it it's like random viking says i got lint in in my uh pockets there in his pockets there lint it's not meant to make sense. Okay, well, perfect. All right. Come on, Sim. All right, so let's check in here. We... <laughs> Who did that? Viking? You did that right when I touched my mouse and my wrist or my arm hit my throttle quadrant 
as I was just touching the mouse and it scared the crap out of me. Oh. Okay, let's check out. Let's check out. Uh, uh, now to get the wind back down. There we go. Oh, it did it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh hang in there, oh, Viper. Oh, hang in there. Oh, Barrel roll. Not, look, not looking good. Okay, I bought that one. That's what I did last night. Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me pull up a uh, little nav map here, or this monitor. So I got a little nav map fired up, or not a little nav map, uh, navigraph. Um, and we're over uh, uh, Louisville here, where STW two 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 is on approach tonight. Welcome in STW. And uh, so we'll be getting on frequency with STW here in a bit. Uh, we've got tower and ground on tonight. I heard last from uh, uh, STW. He mentioned that tower and ground are on tonight. So we'll be working with them to get up in the air. And we'll probably do some pattern work initially. And then maybe I'll break out and see about doing a, an approach. Have uh, STW vector me in for approach. Um, so what is the wind doing? Uh, the wind is currently uh, blowing out at 150. Uh, coming up out of the south, slightly east, right, at 9 knots. So it might be gusting up to 10 to, to 12. Um, so we'll probably be using runway 17 uh, for landings. And so as we take a look here, we've got, go back to Navigraph. We've got uh, 17 uh, left, and we have a 17 right. Well, and that's convenient for uh, for SDW or the the tower controller, because uh, then that gives him some options. If he needs to, if he gets overloaded, he can you know do some parallel uh, uh, landings. Um, and so we'll be spotting in probably over here at this FBO hangar. If my stream ever gets going, my sim gets going, we'll spot if in it over hasn't here. If it started now, Flux, I. All right. Reload. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, right by go. the FBO. I'm I, I'm spawned in on spot 17, and let me see. Let while you're doing that, let me just look around and see if I see anybody else here. I don't know if I see. I see a Learjet beside me, which might be somebody, which is converged. But uh, oh, Viking's nobody working. else. Oh, somebody's yeah, taxiing. Like we'll have an update. Yeah, I just got an update from a taxiway. Oh, from the FBO. The 359? So must be one of the first oh, responded. Okay. So there might be more customization to it. There might At least. Do a Viking Hammer shout out too. And uh, here we go. Look at that setup he has. Amazing. And I'd be remiss if we didn't give uh, uh we lost sound, Flox. You don't hear me right now? Check check. Oh. I know why. Yep. No sound. Hang on. There we go. There, I got you it's, now, five by five. That that happens whenever I kill um, the sim, control, alt, delete. Um, I forgot oh, about gotcha. that. Gotcha. I was just going to say uh, thank you for that shout out uh, to DH, uh, Paradox, and uh, I got one to Viking Hammer. Oh, no, you're welcome, Viking Hammer. But I need to, I'd be remiss if I didn't get one to Sky Command and Factual Goal, right? So I'm queuing up Sky Command. Uh, and I don't, uh, if you can hit, uh, factual goal, uh, Viper Strike right after I'm done with this one. Here we go. You guys got to check these the guys rain. out. All I can say is black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yeah. yellow. Yeah, lemonheads flavored. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no one's gonna, I think you've been spared from the clip, Mike. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> He wasn't spared. And factual goal.
Gotcha. <laughs> but of course, I am Factual Gull. Um, I am a once a week flight sim streamer so far. Um, I really do enjoy flight sim. That just seems to be what works with my work schedule and life schedule lately. Works well. Doing great, doing great at the streaming thing there, Factual. All right, let's see. Volley Nerd, have a great Fat Sim session. We will. Thank you for that, Volley Nerd. Appreciate that. My Sim seems to be hanging up on checking for updates. Still, again, for the second time? It's it's still there. And Volley Nerd said he was, hey, guys, he was planning on joining tonight, but damn, now he has to go to work tonight. Dag uh, Darn it. Hate that word. Yeah. But it buys, buys all the toys. Right? Well, it uh, took me a long time, but is it spinning? I don't remember if mine was spinning or not. Mine is not spinning. It's just sitting there solid. Here, let me uh, turn that oh, off. Well, we better give it a couple more minutes. Come on. I'll, r I'll rub the laptop. Come on. Come on. Talk to us. Oh, Chunky says, that was fun last night, figuring out the Wildcat. We, uh, Tree and I were just talking about that, huh? It was a lot of fun. And and uh, thanks to Chunky and Mish for volunteering to be the targets, too, by the way, because uh, we beat them up pretty bad on the ground. If, if you guys, uh, anybody watched that stream last night, there were... Uh, yeah, there were quite a, quite a few rounds shot out of the 50 cals and bombs dropped and drop tanks and everything else that we could throw down. Yeah, at one point, uh, Mish was saying, "It's getting, it's you know, where's this air coming from? There's air flowing through my my plane here, all the <laughs> yeah. holes in it." Uh, we shot it up pretty good. So yeah, we had fun with the Wildcat last night. We uh, we're learning how to you know the you know, get the, the, the guns set up and, you know, drop the, uh, the, the bombs and, and, you know, I guess you can drop the fuel tanks too. And a little stream of jet fuel runs out behind them. I saw on somebody's post. So we're messing with that last night. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, that sure was. And, uh, just out of, for the heck of it, my, my hometown, the 29 Palms I grew up in, the, the, the football team, we were the Wildcats. And, um, so we spawned in at 29 Palms. And then flew our Wildcats. There was probably six of us over my old high school, and uh, uh, you know, so we brought the Wildcats home, and then uh, we headed out to the I desert remember. where, from the the forties or the fifties, there's a, a practice bomb target that's in the dirt that you can still that's still there to this day. You can see it in satellite photos and stuff. And sure enough, it was in the sim. So that's where we went to to practice all that stuff, and Mish was sitting in the middle of the target, and and we were making uh, strike, you know, strafing runs, and Chunky got down there with him, and it was a blast. We were having a blast. Yeah, it sure was a lot of fun. Come on, I'm just wondering if it's a connection issue with the server. Hello there. Well, hello there. Hello there, SDW, checking in. Yeah, we got an issue with getting the sim fired up. It's been like this for about uh, five minutes now. What the heck? Anybody else experiencing this? Yeah, I know. I thought SCW was going to chime in there and tell me uh, no loitering in front of the FBO. I've been sitting here too long. <laughs> I turned on the Parallel 42 Pro Flow, Flow Pro. Um, but it, I, I had it on and then I turned everything off the other day. And I turned it back on tonight. And I don't know if that's what's hanging it up. I mean, you turn it off and on, 42 flow off and on outside of the sim? Uh, yeah, in the community folder. I have it in there. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, put it, oh, put it, put it in or out. I gotcha. Okay. 
Mm. Oh, come on. Gotta make this work. Let's go. I, I, I can fire up FSX. Ready. No, we don't want that. We gotta get this to work. <laughs> Give it a little bit longer. Yep. Darn thing. Yeah, I I added the the GA aircraft back in. I added the Flow Pro. And did I add anything else? Uh, gosh, maybe it is something to do with community somehow. It's not internet because. Obviously, we have that, so. Some kind of Corvus, welcome in. First time chat. Yeah. Yeah, sad face for me, too. There's something there it doesn't like in community. I think DH is on to something. Hmm. What if you tried it, taking everything out of community? Other than the plane you're going to fly. Yeah, I'll do that in another minute. Yeah. I'll give it another minute or two. Maybe if I snap my fingers. I'm giving yeah. it all she's got, Captain. If I push it any harder, the whole thing will blow. Yeah. That's right. I'm giving her all I got, Captain. Dirty Phoenix just played that sound uh, effect. Captain, we need more crystals. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably a bad thing to say these days. Didn't right. mean anything back in, back in the 60s and 70s. Dilithium crystals. That's what it was. Yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> but leave flow because it's amazing. And I was thinking that might be the one that might be messing me up. Okay. We're starting to get into awkward silence territory. <laughs> now they can see our mugs up here, so they know we're still here. <gasps> hey, I almost hit it. I almost hit it, guys. Oh, what the heck? Come on. What the heck? Well, mine took a long time, too, so who knows what it's doing. Woo! Boom. Yay! Yes! Some kind of Corvus, yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Exactly how I feel. Uh, Dirty Phoenix says that... He been noticing that flow has been chugging on a lot of systems, so it might be something to do with the most recent update. Hmm, okay. Hopefully that gets balanced out. It is. Yeah, because when I first initially started up tonight, I, uh, I had a normal startup time, and then I realized I didn't have uh, my Turbo Arrow 3 uh, 1.8 Romeo livery in there. So I shut it down and restarted it, and I thought, oh, I'll put Flow Pro in there, too, because I've been missing it. I think that was those are the two things I added. Now, even this takes a long time. Well, and I don't know if it makes a difference, but when I installed Flow, I mistakenly took the, the flight sim menu away. So I don't know if that sits in the community folder. That's that probably doesn't though. That I'm sure yeah. that sits. Does anybody know if you can add that back? It said Flo said you could, but it didn't say how. I'd be yeah. interested if somebody uh, knows in chat how to, because it would be nice to have both menus. Even though I, I now I use Flow most of the time. Yeah, if somebody knows how to do that. Be great. Yeah. All right, that bar's getting closer. Chunky says it's something to do with the keybind for the menu. 
Yeah, I'll see if he can find it. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Uh, International Space Station is going to be passing over here in about three minutes. So if you're in the Pacific Northwest, look up. Come on, baby. If it's, if it's clear enough to see. Oh, it's getting there. Uh, Fusca Man just started the sim and is having the same issue. It's taking a, a oh. long time to load. Okay, well, I'm not alone. I'm in good company. That's good to know. Yeah, and I did too. I mean, I almost killed it. There it is. Woo! There's my baby. Courtesy of Angry One Horn. So much appreciate that. Check out Angry One Horn if you guys have not. Uh, shout out Angry One Horn. Released yeah. by in the uh, anniversary edition, built by or uh, developed by Carinado. Oh, Flux will share hmm. my screen just in case. Whoa, what is that? All right. Up, up, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, I need to get a two infinity and beyond one as well. Oh, well, well we're waiting, Flux. I'll just, I don't normally do that. I'm drinking so much water waiting that my, by the time I'm ready to start, I might have to stop and take a bio break. Yeah, well, before I take off, I'm going to. Oh, wow, Tree, thank you. 31 months, man. Has it been that long? Wow. Thank you, Tree. We've been doing, we've been doing this for a long time. Right? Much appreciated. Great. Just a little bit here and there goes a long way to support the stream, you know, and it does you know, have content and stuff. It's great. Yep. It's support from everybody and all the fun we have together. So it's look forward to these every week. What else would we be doing on a Wednesday night? I know it. Watching some sitcom. I don't know. No, wait. Some kind of Corvus first time in chat tonight and he's subscribing. Oh, awesome. Wow. Thank you, Great man. job. Great job. Great job. See what you started? <laughs> yeah. uh, that's awesome. Actually, uh, Paradox started it. Yeah, Paradox did. Nice. I appreciate that. Some kind of cor Corvus. Nice. Come on, Tim. I know we're almost there. It's moving. I just it's it's reading files. It's getting there. Jeez. Well, boy, it's sure we've never had to wait this long for the sim. Thirty-seven minutes. Um. Oh boy. Uh. I, I get, uh let's see who. <laughs> let's see who we're gonna raid tonight. Now. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, all, all those folks you rated, hope we're showing you a good time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, because normally we have a little more activity on the screen than what you're seeing right now. <laughs> I'm going to have to play a video or something. Uh, <laughs> a recording of a past stream. Yeah. Jeez. Come on, baby. It's almost there. Uh, you guys are great. Thanks for the support tonight. Lots of fun. And SCW, uh, just, you know, while we're waiting for the last little bit of bar, he's great controller. He's done ground and uh, tower and approach, and uh, he shows a lot of patience uh, <laughs> to help us. And uh, certainly with me, uh, I think our first bat sim, I mowed more grass than uh, he probably wanted. 
and and uh, but he's corrected us when we uh, needed a little guidance and and uh, so big thank you to FCW. We yeah. sure appreciate what you do. Well said. Here's a little shout out for him. And UPS 697, heavy contact, departure. Have a good night. Push departure, UPS 697, have a good night. Any, any streamers in chat uh, that would like a shout out as we're getting started here? Oh, ready to fly. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I didn't think we'd get here. Houston, we have contact. Okay, let's see. I am in developer mode. I'm going to get that off. Yay, back to the cockpit and a little bit of work to do here. I guess want to tune the radios and stuff first, don't we, Flox? Yeah, we're at the, uh, we got to get VATSIM up and running. So let me get the V pilot going. So if you guys are new to VATSIM, uh, there's a couple things I want to share with you. Uh, one is called V pilot. Uh, you go to VATSIM, uh, was it dot com, I think. I think a link will come up in chat tonight. And you uh there's some study material and you take a kind of a, a test open book and then uh get registered on the VATSIM network and they give you some tools or recommend some tools for you to use one of them is called VATSPY I'm firing that up right now and then the other one's called VPilot and VPilot is how you get registered onto the uh, VATSIM network get that going here And so if you're new to VETSIM, um, Treetop and I are, are still green behind the ears. Um, we've been interested in, in talking on the radios for quite some time, but had radio fright. And then we got a little bit more comfortable with it by just practicing during our streams. And one thing led to another, and I said, hey, Tree, let's dedicate a night to uh, VETSIM. And that'll force us to get on frequency and get over that radio fright. And so we did, and it's working out really well. And but if you're new to VATSIM and you're interested, uh, these tools will help you. The first one is this VATSPY, and this is what you use. Take a look at the VATSIM network and see who is online. Okay, so as I scroll out, you can see you can see the whole world, but we're looking at the, the states right now. And you can take a look and see, okay, well, you know, who's online, and this gives you an idea of what airports you can spawn in at, right? Um, and have a controller on frequency. Sometimes it's a con ground controller, sometimes it's tower. Uh, sometimes it's both, or an approach and departure. But tonight we're going into KSDF, and let's see, I think it's right over here somewhere. Yep, there it is, KSDF. Get into KSDF, take a look, and just hover over the airport, and it'll tell you that you have ground, okay? Um, it doesn't look like we have tower tonight. So... It's a top-down approach. Uh, does that mean that uh, um, the center would be working power? Mm, or, so or... SDW, he's saying ground. You're saying we only have ground? Yeah. No, it's, SDW is on approach. Um, and if it's top-down, I don't know. I guess maybe, maybe that means that SDW will be doing tower and approach oh dirty phoenix you got it uh some kind of corvus stw will handle your top down tower perfect i was just just starting to deduce that uh exclamation yeah. okay cool uh let's give a uh, dirty phoenix a shout out real quick because i asked got it bud here you go Turn this off. Nicosia and then take off right away. Oh, Lazarus, you're falling real quick. Oh no. Oh no, he's dying. Oh no, I'm not sure if he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Oh, that's cool. So some kind of Corvus is over at Kalu. Um he can't do KSDF at the moment at the current his current rating, or he'd be over here. Well, thank you for doing oh, what gotcha. you're doing. Yeah, uh, some kind yes. of service. 
We appreciate. So, anyways, my point was, this is what you use to find who, what controllers are online and where, okay? So, you know, based on this, we can, we can spawn in at KSDF because we know that there's activity here, right? So then we bring up, we spawn in, and what you want to do is take a look at the uh, airport diagram for the airport. And right now I'm using Navigraph. And you want to spawn in, if you're in a GA aircraft, you want to spawn in at an FBO. Can I, can I tell a, you something yeah, about yeah, yeah. Navigraph? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not the airport diagram. No, this is not. This is not. I'm just looking at the map, yeah. Okay, just making sure you know, because I've had so many people try and use it, then they'll taxi the wrong way. Yep. Uh, airport diagram is under information. You hit maybe. the taxi the taxi list. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Wait a minute, what are you I'm saying? Under under in Navigraph, we use the taxi, taxi. with. Yeah, yeah, airport. I know, but he wasn't looking at the actual chart. He was looking at the little thing where you zoom in on the airport. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. But but we can use Navigraph to taxi with, and all those taxiways are correct. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Uh, when you zoom into the airport, they're not. There's at least a few of them aren't. Okay, but you have to get the actual chart. It's the airport chart, the one at the top of the taxi list, Flux. But almost always, the taxiways are correct in Navigraph. We could say that. 90, 95% of the time. Okay, gotcha. There's some at Louisville that are incorrect. Gotcha. It's like they're using a map straight out of like 2008 or something. I don't even know. Mm. Good Meanwhile, to know. the actual chart is correct because it's made by people that know what they're doing. Right. So everybody, this is and STW. Made by people that make charts in real life. This is STW. He's going to be our approach controller tonight and acting as our tower controller. Um, thank you, STW, uh, for pointing this out. I'm still new at Navigraph to pull up the, the, the charts and stuff, so that was good for that you were here. Uh, we want to spawn in. I'm in a GA aircraft, so we'll spawn in at a FBO or um, you know a general aviation ramp. So we'll be spawning in right here, and it just happens that the wind is coming up out of the south, slightly east. So it looks like 17 would be our, our departure uh, runway. Uh, 17 left or 17 right. We can request 17 left and see if we get it we'll be spawning in right here um and then we can get up in the pattern and then uh, uh maybe do an ils approach a little bit later and then if i do an over isn't there an overlay where this will show up on the map or am i thinking of uh, yeah, you, you, hit, you hit the little button with like the two layers there yeah yeah that's what i thought yep yep so now it's now now the diagram is superimposed over the map which is a great feature and all the taxiways and stuff will be correct this way. I just clicked on this little button right over here. All right, let me get spawned. I am spawned in. Why am I not showing up on the map here? I got a different map up than you do. Mine's color. It's not like a PDF. Yeah, I I went to airports. Oh, you're there. I went to airports. Yeah, right here. And then I clicked on it, you know, I'm on KSDF. I clicked on charts and then taxi. And then you click on this this first one and you hit this little uh overlay button and that overlays right. the the diagram over that color. See if I turn it off, this is what you have. No, I have something different than that even. Oh, but, really? Yes, but that being said, uh, doesn't it show you in front of FBO? There's a little pink arrow there. Yeah, it just came in. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. So, mine's in color. I'm seeing what you're seeing, but mine's in color. Huh. Let me let me <laughs> share that screen just for fun. Okay. Since we're having fun here, anyways. Let me see. switch over to Discord here. Some kind of Corvus says, and now, now look, we're the ones teaching people. Oh my God! If that's what if that's what you call this, <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, you've got like highways and stuff. Right. So I just have a different 
overlay map. It's just default. This is what it defaulted to, and I haven't explored it farther than that yet. So, so I, I've got the same info that you do, pretty much, I think. Hit up there at the top, because you have a different airport down there. It says KDUC. Hit unload at the very top up there. Uh, up unload. higher to the right a little bit. Or to the left, right. No, 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 no. It's left side next to search. Right above KDUEC it says unload. Oh, yeah. Um, right higher. there. Yep. Okay. Now hit the search button. K S D F. And then uh, go ahead and click on it. Okay. Now, see where over there on the left it says airports? Yes. Click on that. Should come in. Why isn't it coming in? Search text field to get results for your journey. You hit KSDF in that search up there. I didn't realize I did it twice. Maybe I did. Okay, and then um, click on KSDF. Here? Yeah, just where it says KSDF. Just click on it. Nothing's happening. Okay, click on um, one of those buttons. Uh, maybe the one with the three bars. Let's see what that does. There it is. Oh, taxi. Now taxi. Okay. And now now click click on that first one. That should bring in the diagram. And now hit that little oh, there overlay we go. hit that little overlay button. Looks like two pieces of paper stacked on each other. There you go. Oh, okay. And now zoom in. And you've got the actual taxiway diagram that's accurate that you can read. Oh, and it's gonna show that my arrow is going to go just the same as the other one. Yep. Yep. Oh, ba basically, perfect. it's just overlaying, superimposing the uh, the diagram gotcha. over your map. And then just just as a thank you, Flox, for that. I didn't know that. Okay, so now just since well, at least I'm going to start out doing pattern work and maybe only that because of time, but whatever we end up doing. But here's whether I do pattern work or whether we do any uh, approach work. I also run nav map. So you can, if you want, if you have Navigraph, I can zoom out. It's going to show me flying around here. But I just find that that uh, even Navigraph is great, but I, I like uh, nav map because I can zoom in and out. And so now I've got both running. So while I'm on the ground, I've got Navigraph going and and I'm going to navigate the taxiways. But once I'm in the air, I'm going to switch. I'll just pop the window of, of little nav map up, and then I can see my orientation that way. Cool. So it's just, just preference, but it does, those are options that you have. Certainly you could do it all with Navigraph if you wanted to, but um, I like to use both. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, we need to take a look at the diagram okay let me get back to my feed here and oh no no i want that and then i want to get back to this not that i want little nav map where are you i gotta get my buttons configured for this there we go or not little nav map but navigraph and we want to look at this airport diagram and look for our radio frequencies um I trust that they're on here. Uh, right hand corner. Uh, should be right hand corner. Upper. Uh, oh, if that's Jeppesen, it might be different, maybe. Yeah, I'm not seeing them on here. On the on the PDF I have, I've got uh, Louisville Tower at 124.2, and I've got oh, ground at 121.7. Yep, tower and ground. Louisville Departure. I don't see approach, but we'll figure that out in a minute. So let me make some notes here. What do you mean you don't see approach? 
I see clearance. I see ground. I see tower. I see departure. Oh, you're looking on the airport chart. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't yeah, yeah. show. It wouldn't show uh, the approach. All the approach or departure frequencies. So, oh, but, that, that, so that, that, that one right there. there isn't correct for fat sim. Okay, it, and I'll look. When at... it comes to ground tower and clearance delivery, yeah, you can rely on the charts. When it comes to departure and stuff, that's not going to be correct unless like every position is staffed. Okay, and we we will look at um, V pilot to see the frequencies, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll take a look. That'd but be a good idea. I'm challenging myself to look at the at the chart. So we are at Louisville, at K S D F. Louisville. Just making my notes here. Okay. The power is 124.2. Ground is 121.7. Okay. And Atis. Do they have Atis on here? Yeah. 118. 118. Dot 725. Dot 725. Okay. I'm using my handy dandy. It's called a boogie board. It's like an LCD, L LCD screen that you can erase when you're done at the push of a button. Okay. So let's take a look at V Pilot while we're here. Uh, we need to get logged in here. So, settings, if you're new to VPilot, under settings, you want to make sure you have your push to dock configured. I have mine as my left control key. And then, we want to go to flight plan. Uh, KSDF is in here from last time. We will start out with VFR. For now, we're just going to do some pattern work. Uh, departure time, what time is it? What time is it? Zulu time. It is 2.53, so we'll say 3 a.m. Oh, we got a late start tonight. 0300. Time in route, two hours. Yep, two hour stream. Got three hours of fuel available. That's our cruise speed. Uh, we should look at the... Well, this is probably correct from last time, but we would look at our sectional and see what the airspace um, minimums are and figure out what we can, you know, fly, what what altitude we can fly out at. Um, here I have 1650 from last time we did that. Um, so we're going to say practice pattern. And then you can have under remarks a little comment here for the controllers and they'll see this um, new to VATSIM beginner. Um, that's nice and we don't have to save it or anything it's like a database it just saves it so we hit close and we log in connect uh, call sign 96318 Romeo our aircraft type is a P28S it's a turbo aero 3 and we don't need a self cal code that's for oceanic flights and what's cool guys if you're new to VATSIM you can hit this observe button it connect as an observer right be here on the frequencies with us you can tune in your radios and listen in okay but you don't show up on the radar and and you can't talk to them but you can hear everything that's going on and that might help get over the jitters right um and become familiar with it so there's that we're gonna hit connect and we're and gonna Fox, yep just a quick question so I'm looking at it says uh, tower here, Louisville Tower 119.5, which isn't correct. Should be tower should be 124.2, and uh, ground is doing 1217. That's correct. Are you looking Why, at the correct airport? It says uh, Louisville Tower. L O U L O U is Bowman. That is that is not right. Yeah, you got me as what? That's K L O U Louisville. L O U is Bowman. That's five miles to the northwest, northeast. Yeah. Oh, L O U. Okay. So we don't have. Okay, here's so here's the map. Let's look at the map tree. Looking at my. Yeah. Okay. There's there's a uh, Bowman right here. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, so, so okay. So B pilot just brought that up since we're close to it, apparently. And um, let me bring V pilot back up again. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And so we don't have a controller on tower at Louisville. Uh, but STW is working approach and departure on 132.325. So it, it, he's going to be acting as our tower controller tonight. So we need to tune, oh, I see. We need to tune him in for tower and approach and departure. For tower, yeah, you guys approach. could always take off Louisville and then go do uh, pattern work over at Bowman. We could. Oh, we're, we're, we're already here yeah. and it's late. And it took me forever oh, I, to spawn in, so... Yeah, we're already well, in it, it, it takes you, like, two minutes to fly over there. Because it's only five miles. Oh, well, I thought you meant, like, spawn in again. You know, like, respawn in. Um, but, yeah, we could uh, we could fly over to Bowman um, and do some pattern work. We can uh, make that request. That'd be all right. So, let me make a note here. If we both don't go over there, maybe I could try going over there. Well, I'll, t I'll try it. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, let's see. So, tower here yeah, is going to be... Just keep in mind, Bowman has slightly shorter runways. One, th oh, I like a challenge. One, three, yeah, you'll two... Yeah, you'll be fine on your Baron and your Piper. Okay. Three, two, five is what our tower frequency is going to be. Okay, and then I'm going to write down uh, Bowman tower is... One one nine so dot five. Okay, so one three two dot three two five's approach and departure for Louisville, correct? And tower. And tower. Okay. A resolated, yep. Alright, okay, here we go. So first thing we need to do is like listen to ADIS, and I can tell you from my experience, you know, like I I listen to the ADIS on the radio, and it's like, what did he say? What did he say? And so I developed, it might be a bad habit, I don't know. I developed a, a little ha habit here where I will look at the V pilot and I'll look for ATIS. And we want KSDF ATIS. It's down here, 118.725. We'll confirm that's good. Yep. And if you double click it here, it'll, it'll give you a typed out version of the ATIS report, which is kind of cool. So you can take a glance at this and say, okay, it's info mic. So we're working with information mic. Every hour or every like, you know, moderate weather change, they can update the information and they give it a new new letter in alphabetical order. So right now we're on mic um, and the time that it was updated. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, wind at 150 at seven knots. Uh, we got 10 square miles visibility. Few clouds at- Statute uh, miles? Statute miles. I always get that wrong. Uh, Few clouds at, oh man, that's 600? That would be 600, wouldn't it? Few clouds at 900. Um, and then more clouds at uh, 1,400, I think that is. Yeah, I mean, it, it was the elevated I am at KSDF. Thank you for that. I, but I was just, I got confused on uh, V-Pilot and what it was first hey. getting for uh, Tower. And but thank you. And thank Sorry you. To... And thank you, Spoof FX, for the follow. No, no, you're all good, Tree. All right, so altimeter is going to be 3000. So we need to write that down. Altimeter. 3000.000. Um, sim sim simultaneous ILS approaches in use, runway 17 left and 17 right. Simultaneous departures in use, 17 left and 17 right. Advise you have information mic. All right, so let's tune it in here. Okay. I get it. I gotta get started. I gotta start. I haven't started anything yet. Neither have I. Get my center light going while I got my flashlight on. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Okay. Throw the nav light on, let people know they're getting ready to get fired up here. And let's get things, to, we'll get the, uh, the fuel pump going, get any air out of the lines and stuff. Let's get our comms turned on here. Nav radios. Okay, we'll come over here. This thing going. Switch on this. This to ADF. Okay, we'll squawk 1200. We'll start. Put this on ALT. Okay. Let's okay, we are going to have to use ground, correct? Yes. Okay. And we'll turn that off. Nope. All right. Fuel tank. And then, and then for tower, tower and everything else. Really, we're dealing with two frequencies here. So one three two dot three two five is going to be everything else. Correct. 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 Okay. And I think we call tower. We'll say Louisville Tower, uh -huh. and he'll he'll just okay. he'll he'll be acting as tower. Okay. All right. Let's crack our throttle. Set our mixture. Set our prop. And let's crank this bad boy over. Okay, I'm up and running. Get up to a thousand. Lost. I'm watching the RPMs coming up to a thousand here. And I'll leave it at a thousand, let it get warmed up and charging the batteries. Here we go. Ooh, somebody's moving. Fuel pump's coming off. All right. Let's listen to ATIS. ATIS also serves as a radio check to make sure that you're on the VATSIM network. Um, so it's a good idea to do that. ATIS is 118.72. 118.72. Five hundred. Ceiling one four thousand broken. One eight thousand broken. Two zero thousand overcast. Temperature two three. Two point one seven. Altimeter three zero zero zero. Simultaneous ILS approaches in use runway one seven left. And one seven. Simultaneous departures in use runway one seven left. And one seven. Advise on initial contact. You have information November. November. I thought I thought it sounded a little bit different. Transport yeah. Airport ATIS information November zero two five six Zulu Special. Web one six zero at seven. Visibility one zero. Fuel clouds at nine thousand five hundred. Ceiling one four thousand broken. One eight thousand broken. Two zero thousand overcast. Temperature two three. Two point one seven. So we're on November. We're on November. Yep. Information November. And okay, let's turn in ground. Uh, looking at my little cheat sheet here. One two one dot seven. Three two point three two. There we go. Six six three two. Could you uh, repeat the squat for UPS 702? Oh, we've got to file our, file our flight plan. 6632. 3632. Oh, that's right. I didn't file it. Uh, UPS 702 cleared to the New Orleans airport via the cargo for departure, cargo transition, then as filed. Maintain 5000. Expect level 30010 minutes of departure. Departure frequency is 123.32 and squawking 6632. UPS 702. You can stand out oh two right back track. You can night runway one seven left for departure. Nice. One seven left, uh, seven oh two, thank you. Yeah, hey, Louisville Ground, November Piper, November six three one eight Romeo at the uh, FBO ramp. 
uh, looking to do uh, a bit of pattern work with information November and requesting taxi. November 1136, or local ground, good evening, thanks for November. Um, I'm going to have your standby for one second. Let me coordinate with approach for your pattern work. Well, it sounds like you were talking to him. I didn't say your call sign, did I, by accident? Oh, tree's gone. Did tree beat me, chat? Or did I actually say his call sign? Or maybe he saw him there for a long time and thought maybe I was him. Number 6318 Romeo, local ground. 18 uh, Romeo, go ahead. Number 1-8 Romeo, your pattern work request is approved. Departure frequency is going to be 132.32 and squad 0240. Block C on 132. 132.32 uh, and squawking 0240, pattern works approved, 1-8 Romeo. Okay, all right. Number one A Romeo, read that correct and advise when you're ready to attack. We'll advise one A Romeo. Okay, so I got my I got my pattern work clearance. Um okay. I am on one two one dot seven zero talking to ground. Oh you you are talking to ground at one two one okay and then yep. Okay, and then everything else one one three two dot three two five. Yeah, after he hands us off the tower, yep. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna do my call now. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna do a quick bio break. I just, I just did one. <laughs> I know, I'm like relief. Oh, running. sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, good one. You, you saw that I. Oh my god, I gotta figure out some. I'm gonna get a cardboard cutout that goes in front of my camera, so you guys won't know. Oh, no, that's all good. Okay, let me get still back. Here we go. Leave a tower. This is November one one three seven Victor with information November requesting pattern work. November one one three seven Victor Louvo Ground. Good evening. Your pattern work request is approved. Departure frequency is going to be 132.32 and spot 0241. Move the tower uh, departures, uh, our tower is going to be 132.325. Uh, can you uh, say squawk again? Number 37 Victor, squawk 0241. <coughs> squawk 0249. Number one three seven Victor. Verify squawking zero two four one zero two forty one. We have a tower that is squawk zero two four nine. <laughs> no, no, I'm missing it. Number three seven Victor. Verify squawking zero two four one zero two forty one. Forty one. Luba Tower, Squawk 0241. Number 37 Victor, rip that crack, and you can call Patsy. And. Hey. Go ahead. My hearing aid died. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm... Actually, you know what? I got just a second. I'm going to change the battery so I can hear better. Yeah, yeah, One, oh. yeah, that'd be good. And what Global ground, that? this is Douglas November Tree nine zero. We did update our information. Information November. Uh, we're ready, taxi. November thirty eight ninety. Thanks for November. Runway one seven right. Taxi Sleeveless, via yes. Mike Golf Bravo. One seven right via Mike Golf Bravo thirty eight ninety.
And shout out to Raleigh Maw. <laughs> oh man, somebody's cr cutting right in front of him. And good day, Mai. Good day, Raleigh. Right back at you, bud. Uh, let's see. Uh, Spoof FX is Treetop on Twitch? No, he's not. He he's on my Twitch. We we stream together. He's actually my in real life next door neighbor. A uh, great friend of mine and uh, my co-host here, co-streamer. Okay, probably in his DC6 sleeveless, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm squawking. Um, I'm ready to taxi, so let's get some taxi instructions. Um, I'm going to request 17 left and see if he can make that happen for me. Over ground, uh, November 6318, Romeo. November 6318, Romeo, over ground, go ahead. Yeah, uh... Ready to taxi and requesting 17 left if possible. Yeah, Echo. Number 6318, Romeo. Can you take runway 17 left at Echo 4? Uh, 17 left at Echo 4, 18 Romeo. And if Flox, correct me, I need to have IDAN on and altitude on, correct? Yes. And November 3890, you can contact Louisville Tower, 124.2. Okay, I think I'm ready. Hey, right, going to uh, Louisville Tower, 124.2, 3890, appreciate you. Now I can hear you. I can hear everybody. 132, gonna put it down here. And he, wants, and he wants to do Echo 5. Echo four, yeah. Oh, uh, Echo four. Oh, yeah. That's easy. That's right across from us. Yep. Three two, three two, three two, three two. Louisville Tower, one one three seven Victor. Do you read Squawk uh, affirmative? Number one one three seven Victor. Uh, affirm. You're squawking right. Roger, Louisville Tower, requesting uh, pattern work, uh, departure, or a taxi, uh, VO Echo 4, 17 left for pattern work. November 1137, Victor. Runway 17 left at Echo 4, behind the departing P28 Sierra. Uh, taxi via Echo 4. Roger, uh, taxi Echo 4, and I have November. Oh, man, it's so hard at night, right? Uh, I'm, I hate to tell November you this, Fox. 318, Romeo, you can contact Global Tower 1322. I I changed it today. Google Tower 132.32. Thank you. But just remember, Flux, you're a better Number pilot than I am. Romeo, just verify Louisville Tower just got online. So you can contact Tower 124.2. Uh, 124.2. 18 Romeo. What was 124.2? Louisville Tower just came online. Oh, 124. Dot, oh, so I got to change 132 to 124.2. Yep. Just when you have it figured out. Okay. okay. 124.2, let's get contacted here. Uh, we don't have to contact until we get to uh, to the runway, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just about there. Oh, I'm just starting here. Let's see. Temperature 2. to move, here we go. And um, United 1, 2, heavy, confirm lining up for one to the left. Uh, lining up for one seven left, you know, one two heavy. Don't you just love this navigraph? It's like. Roger. All right, holding short. Yeah, hey, Louisville Tower, Piper, November 63, Winnie Romeo holding short, uh, one seven. We didn't ask for what. 
Oh, man. Which pattern? Oh, that's right. Tower's going to tell us which oh, side. I just met. One seven left. Um, yeah. At Echo 4. Uh, ready for pattern work. He, he's probably November 6318, Romeo and Tower. Good evening. Traffic's on a odd mile final for heavy 787. On departure, make left traffic. Wind 160 at 7, once on the left. Clear for takeoff. Uh, clear for takeoff when you room you. Any other traffic will depart prior to your arrival. Still clear to line once on the left. Roger, United 1 2 Abby. And that was left traffic for 1 8 Romeo, correct? Affirmative. All right, setting some flaps. Oh, and I took, called him Louisville Tower, and it should have been Louisville Ground. See, I'm out of practice already. Louisville Tower, November 1137. Victor requesting uh, 17 left for pattern work. Number 117, one, one, 1137. Victor, Louisville Tower, good evening. Hold short, 117 one, left, landing traffic. And did he tell me to line up and wait? Eight nine zero. You can contact the uh, Louisville departure thirty two thirty two. Have a good night. Thirty two thirty two. Appreciate you. Thirty ninety. Louisville Tower one three seven Victor. Uh, was that line up and wait? Native uh, three seven Victor. Hold short one seven left. Landing traffic. Three seven Victor. Hold short left. Seventeen left. All right, I'm up in the air. Nice. Finally, we're up in the air. Hey, what's your altitude, Tree? I'm on the ground still. Yeah, but what's your altitude? Oh, in, in uh, oh, 500 feet. Okay. Yeah, okay. and I'm, I, I, I reset the altimeter. So about 1,500 will be pattern altitude for me then. Okay. Yeah, thank you for that. Just curious. All right. All right, I'm going to sit here and wait. Flaps are set. Oh, no, they're not set. I thought they were set. Apparently, I got traffic coming in. Oh, yeah, there he is. Looks like a heavy. Oh, that is so cool. Again, and Piper 37 Victor, only one center left, live and late. Did he say? There's somebody on me. And you know, it's 1 2 heavy, you connected to the right and contact ground 1 2 1.7. Have a good night. Exit to the right and contact ground on 121.7 United 12 Heavy, thanks for your help. November 1137 Victor, Louisville Tower on departure, make left closed traffic, runway 17 left at Echo 4, clear for takeoff. 137 Victor left, close traffic, clear for takeoff, 17 left. Piper 18 Romeo, one departure prior to your arrival, 17 left, clear for the option. Uh, we'll watch for traffic, uh, clear for the option whenever we're here. I'm hearing everything from Treetop, even though I'm not on his Discord. Or, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing, I'm not watching his stream, but I'm hearing everything. Weird. All right, notch of flaps. Gears coming down, turning left base. Gonna make this a tight turn. I overshot it. Yikes. Just 
why we practice. How's the pattern work going down there? Uh, just uh, completing my first uh, first pattern here. Overshot it. Uh, ATC is great. Yeah, as I do. ATC is great. Uh, they're both doing a great job. Uh, tower came online. If, if you didn't know, the current tower controller, he actually flies around the little area sometimes. Oh, nice. And uh, number for three, seven, Victor, wind one six zero at seven, runway one seven left, quit the line. Crushing quit the option. Oh, thank God. 66 feet per minute? I for, I thought I forgot to go And Baron Victor, Louisville, wind 160 at 717 left, click for the option. 167 Victor, clear for the option. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't make it over to Bowman. Hey, Louisville Tower, November 6318, Romeo with a request. 18 Romeo, go ahead. Uh, I'd like to be vectored over to, to Bowman for uh, touch and go. Roger, 18 Romeo, I'll work on that really, real quick for you. Hey, Rolly Wall. <laughs> Good to see you, bud. And one eight Romeo, you can uh, proceed it direct to the Bowman Airport and at a left down one two four. A left down one two four, one eight Romeo. And you can contact Louisville Tower now, 119.5. Good night. 119.5. Good night. Thank you. Back to you. Bowman Tower, Piper November 6318 Romeo, uh, at 1700 departing Louisville, inbound for left downwind. Piper 6318 Romeo, Bowman Tower, to the left downwind for runway 24. Left downwind 24, when you Romeo. Tree. I'm heading over to Bowman for a touch and go. Left downwind, left downwind, left downwind. Which runway is he having you go to? 2 4. That looks like Flocks passed up that downwind a little bit there. I did. What what is that like an eighty degree bank? <laughs> hey, who's watching here? <laughs> All right, there's two four over there off the tip of my wing there. 
come in for a left down wind. Let's get this airspeed down. Here we go. Seven one eight Romeo wind one six zero at five runway two four clear touch and go. Uh, clear touch and go two four one eight Romeo. Maybe a couple notches of flaps. There's two four there. Airspeed's good. Trimming her up a little bit so I don't gotta fight it so much. Looking for that 45 degree angle. Looks like uh, Bowman's an old military uh, airfield. Was it really? Uh, it's got the triangle to kind of shape to it. And I think Bowman was a uh, general or something. I don't know. All I know is it's been around since like the 20s or 30s. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Yep. All right, left. At one point, it was the biggest airport, or the most busy airport in the U.S. Oh, wow. For a great many years. Yeah, as I'm thinking about it, I think there's a lot of history here. Um, seems like I read about it a little bit in the past. Yeah, Bowman Tower with a request. Yes, sir. Calling Bowman Tower, say request. Uh, November 63, 18 Romeo. I'd like to uh, do a pattern or two. Sir, 18 Romeo, uh, enter left close traffic on the go. A left close traffic on the go. Ooh, 245. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Come on. It's coming up. Standard rate turn. There we go. Strain it out a little bit on the climb. Got our left crosswind. Turning for left downwind. 20 degrees on the turn indicator. There we go. Everyone, a Romeo, wing one six zero five, runway two four, clear, touching go. Uh, clear, touch and go, two four one eight Romeo. Right, I'm gonna start heading back over towards the tree. Can you hear me, tree? Radio check. Yeah, I don't hear you, tree. Let me see if I see a green light when you're talking on Discord. But, oh, you're muted. On Discord, it seems. Okay, three in the green. Let's get those greens going. Gears coming down. There we go, three in the green. And a couple notches of flaps. Oh, it looks like it sounds like treetops touching down. I can't hear you on the uh, on the stream on Discord tree. It, it looks like you might be 
muted or something. I'll have to look at it here in a second when I get lined up here. Ooh, overshot it again. Check one, check two. Yeah, Tree, I see a, a mute uh, icon on your Discord. I don't know if I accidentally did it. Yeah, Bowman Tower, November 63, Romeo with a request. Pepper 18 Romeo, go ahead. Uh, I'd like to vector back over to Louisville. Pepper 18 Romeo, Roger, on the go, fly runway heading, and, uh, Contact Mobile Tower 124.2. 124.2, runway heading on the go. 18 runway. Gosh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad landing. Why we practice? The bad takeoff, too. Oh my god, there's taxi stuff in the runway. Come on. Here's up. Okay, it was uh, the 124.2. 124.2, I think. 124.2, right? Yeah, Luba Tower, November 6318, Romeo at 1200, uh, departing Bowman inbound for touch and go. And uh, November 6318, Romeo, Luba Tower, welcome back uh, for traffic. Uh, it's a flight north westbound for traffic. I suggested heading 310 at the Baron Cover Clock in about two miles. I have the traffic in sight, 310 heading 18 Romeo. And you know what, only army is with traffic inside, maintain visual separation with the traffic. You'll be number two once in the left, clear touch and go. Uh, number two for the touch and go, when eight Romeo. And number three seven Victor, when one seven zero at nine or only one seven left, clear for the option. Hey, he's making his turn. I'm not hearing you, tree. Let me look at Discord again. Hey, tree says muted. Let me see if I can unmute. Tree, can you hear me? Tree? Hey, there's that traffic. Here. Hey, Louisville, Tower November 63, Winnie Romeo with request. Winnie Romeo, go ahead. I'd like to uh, remain up in the pattern. That's alright. That's perfectly fine with me. Winnie Romeo up to the option, clear, uh, make left traffic. Left traffic after the option one eight one. Why can't I hear you, Tree? Tree, nod your head if you hear me. Okay. I did see a mute. Uh, thing on your Discord, and I unchecked it, so I don't see the mute option anymore. But I still don't hear you. And nope, still don't hear you. If you go into your voice in the video, and when you Romeo, uh, go around, uh, fly runway heading. 
uh, go around uh, runway heading and then into the pattern when you win. Check one, check two. And whenever, I mean, whenever you're able and are comfortable, you can uh, make left. You can start your left crosswind turn. Uh, when able, left crosswind. When you're able. Check one, check two. I hear you on a different mic. It sounds like. Okay, we'll stick with this one for a minute. Yep, that sounds minute, good. Minute. Okay, I went back to default. Um, hopefully, towers hearing you. I hope. If you could just start that crosswind turn for me. Uh, left crosswind, when you run me up. And are you hearing uh, Seven Victor by chance? Uh, he's having uh, uh, microphone issues tonight. And when you run me up, please uh, start the left crosswind turn immediately. Thank you. Three Victor, three seven Victor, fly runway heading for me. Here. Thank you so much. <laughs> and through some Victor, I'm a, uh, you're unreadable. Just uh, you can touch your left cross and turn, and just acknowledge it's an ident. Oh, so he wants you to push your ident num your ident button to acknowledge what he just said. He can't hear you either. So push your ident to tell him that you acknowledge. One eight Romeo, over me one seven left, clear for the option. Uh, one seven left, clear for the option. One eight Romeo. All right, three in the green. Slow our roll a little bit and introduce some flaps. More cowbell, Cody. Sorry, I missed you earlier. Welcome in. Good to see you, bud. Got my hands full at the moment. And. Couple notches of flaps. All right, I'm gonna try to hit this approach down the middle of the runway. Oh, that's a good that baseball field or something that's right off my nose. All those lights. It's a good uh, a good target. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, check one, check oh, two. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. I got a shorten on mic. Yeah, that, that sounds a lot better right now. Okay. Might want to uh, do a radio check sure. with the tower. Blue Tower 137 Victor, radio check. Loud and clear. Roger, 137 Victor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm way too short. Where the heck am I now? This tower's like, who are these guys? <laughs> I know. I'm all over. I think I need a new headset because this, I think this mic's getting a short in it. Yeah, it was just all of a sudden I couldn't hear you. Right, because I could hear you the whole time. You were 5x5. Five five. Tower's 5x5. Five five. Everybody was 5x5, five five, but uh, I couldn't get out. And then I tried to default and you barely heard me. Mm-hmm. And I'm, oh, Cowbell, Cowbell Cody's spawning in, in a Phantom. Oh, nice. All right, let's see if I can grease this landing here. The uh, best I could do is 240. I got a 6-6 six, six earlier. I heard. I got a 6-7 just now. There it is. Read it and weep. <laughs> Gosh. Why can't I ever do as good as you? Oh, you do. You do great. <laughs> Cowbell Cody, welcome in, man. Yeah, welcome in, Cowbell Cody. Beer's coming up and cake's on the griddle. I'm a bit low now. 
First, I'm too high, now I'm too low, but I was trying to mess with the headset. All right, good day, Mike. Never. We'll see you, Rolly. Bye, Rolly. Thanks for checking in. Always good to see those guys. Yep. So you didn't do any... Advancement. 3 7 Victor, runway once in the left, cleared. Touch and go. 1 3 7 Victor, clear for touch and go. <laughs> oh, nice. Gotta get back on the... Welcome in. Welcome in, uh, off-scheduled, uh, descent. Welcome in. Yeah, Tree and I can use all the help we can get. <laughs> N18 Romeo, the traffic you'll be following is off your left about 10 o'clock and a mile and a half of the Baron. We're plugged in sight. I have that traffic in sight. What do you want to Alright, Romeo, follow that traffic. Run wind 170 at 9 or runway 170 left, cleared for touch and go. We'll follow and clear for a touch go. Zero tower, not flight four nine heavy uh, inbound ILS one seven right. Be advised, medical emergency on board. Uh oh. North flight four nine heavy. Lower tower. Good evening. Wind one seven zero nine. Runway one seven right. Clear to land. Traffic will be uh, in the left base for one seven left. Roger. One seven right. Clear to land. Demand the traffic on left base for. The parallel runway. Looks like fun and heavy. Wow, we got a got a medical emergency on a heavy coming in, and uh, you're landing right in front of them there, Tree. Oh boy, I better get down quick. Yikes. Let's see. Professional help is in the chat. Says off schedule descent. That's much appreciated. He says he Did knows you? airlines more than GA. Uh, well, the 737 at least. And it so happens I got the 737-600, and we were practicing a little bit with that, uh, uh, with a flight plan, not on Batsim, uh, a little flight from, uh, was it Charleston, Virginia, to... to and uh, one at Romeo, caution, weak turbulence, uh, heavy A330, landing on the parallel. Have the heavy in sight, and we'll, we'll uh, caution that weak turbulence, when you worry. Uh, how many miles is he behind me? Oh, he's landing on the parallel runway. So In North Flight 49 okay. Heavy, additional traffic off your 10 to 11 o'clock is a Piper also in the left downwind or left base once on the left. I have the traffic, North Flight 49 Heavy. Uh, off scheduled descent, thank you for that follow, much appreciated. Over the tower, good evening, UPS 702 on Delta. What's. Oh, 3, 2, 1, go! UPS 702, Google Tower, good evening. I'll hold short 170 left, I got traffic on that. Uh, our landing traffic. Well, I'll hold short 170 left. Minus 113, MG. Oh man, I bet you that was blasting too, wasn't it, off schedule? So, eight, my voice is being blasted on ATC, huh? Mm hmm, 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 hmm. Let me see if I can turn that down in Discord. Uh, it's gonna get a little sketchy here. Uh, Discord, voice and video settings. Voice and video. Shouldn't, shouldn't be. It will bump that down to about 80. Okay. We'll Box, when you went over to Bozeman, you didn't have to do any radio work then. Um, so I, I asked uh, Tower here to vector me to Bo. Bo Bowman, and he he yep. just said fly direct, and then he told right. me to change frequency to tower at Bowman, and then uh, Bowman told me to do three seven left. Victor enable check mode uh, check mode Charlie. Oh, oh tower to... took you? Yeah, yeah, tower took me, and he wants you to check your mode Charlie. It doesn't seem like you're squawking right now. And North Flight 49 Heavy, exit left and contact ground point 7. Have a good night. Uh, what's going on here? Exiting left and contact ground point 7, North Flight 49 Heavy, thank you. No, over 37 Victor, extend your downwind, I'll call your base. He well, wants you to extend your downwind, call your base. Got it. 137 Victor, extend downwind, call base. UPS 702 Heavy, you're running once in a month, flat point. 
Line of 817, Lucy, Pier 702, heavy. On the go. Oh man, I can't think of them right now off schedule descent, but uh, I've been collaborating a little bit with the aircraft. The uh, Louisville Bowman Tower is now closed. Their space is class echo. Okay. Um, been getting a bit of a collaboration with Raisins in Your Toast and DH Paradox. Uh, you know, coming up with uh, startup uh, instructions and stuff. Um, but I will keep you in mind and please uh, watch the channel. Um, because I do want to get into playing the uh, 737 a bit more. Um, I really enjoyed the flight to New York that we did. It was it was a lot of fun. And uh, now over 37, Victor, your left base at your discretion. Caution, we turn on heavy uh, Airbus departure prior to your arrival. 137, base, left base at my discretion, and uh, watch for heavy traffic. Yeah, no, I forgot to say, uh, 37 Victor, runway 17 left, clear, touch and go. 137 Victor, touch and go. UPS 207 uh, heavy on departure, RNF drop a wind 170 at 9, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff, traffic on a 3 mile left base. RNF drop a clear for takeoff, 17 left, UPS 702, we have traffic in sight. Alright, so, uh, some kind of Corvus? Luva Tower is going to bed, he says, because he was the tower controller. Have a nice night. Bowman Tower. Or Bowman Tower, yep. Thank you for the for the for the tower control tonight. And SDW, now that you're there, um, I'm gonna set up my course for one seven zero and and see if I can't uh, request a ILS approach. Alright, you just gotta tell tower that. Yep, I will. Let me get this going here. And who was who was the guy in the seven three? Uh, that had time uh on it? unscheduled descent. Oh, unscheduled descent. And a uh, one eight Romeo traffic follows on a two oh, mile and a half final once in a left port them in sight. I have that traffic in sight and one eight Romeo with the request. UPS uh, two heavy contact a little bit of departure, good night. A little departure, UPS seven zero two, have a good night. And one eight Romeo, go ahead with your request. I'd like to practice an approach. Roger, one eight Romeo. Uh, do you want to do it after the go? Or you want to just fly present heading? Uh, present heading will be fine. Roger. Uh, this is the Aero uh, off schedule. It's the Aero Turbo Aero 3. And 1 8 Romeo, uh, turn right heading 090, climb and maintain 3000. Uh, 090, climb maintain 03000. And 1 8 Romeo, you can contact Louisville Departure as well. 132.32, I'll see you on the inbound. 132.32, Louisville Departure, Pier 702. Oh shoot, chat, help me out. What was the heading you gave me? Gosh. Uh, I, bet, I bet I know. <laughs> yeah, what was it, SW? Because because I'm the, I'm the one that told him to give it to you. Yep. <laughs> it's a uh, zero nine or zero. Zero nine or zero. Thank you. Zero nine or zero, come on, baby. And there we go, three thousand approaching. That's good. Heading is on, and bada bing, bada boom. Let's uh, trim this puppy up. There we go. And one three two. Dot three two. Come on, baby. One three two. Dot three two. 
Bell, Tinder Tree, Triple Zero. And Giant uh, 391, contact Mobile Tower 124.2. Contact Tower 124.2 for Giant 3891. Have a great night. SDF approach, Cessna 10096, 15 miles east of the field at 2,000 feet. Request to land, info pop up. Number 10096, uh, local approach, local altimeter tree 000. zero, zero. Uh, say aircraft type. This is a Cessna 172, 096. And remember, 0906, uh, Squawk 1422, and I'd end. Squawk 1422, and I'll end. 096. approach, Piper, November 6318, Romeo 3000, heading 090, uh, requesting approach. Remember, 6318, Romeo, low departure. Uh, flight heading 350 and ident. 350 and ident. Okay, let's hit that ident. Boom. And 350 on the heading. 50. And UPS 702 heavy, and these centers off line. Crowd above my airspace, radar services terminated for finger change approved. What? I'll be in the call for UPS 702. Have a good night. On the squawk, do, do on you the squawk have radio? I just did. I yeah, but see. I hit it, and then I... And remember, zero nine or six, uh, your radar contact, uh, one zero miles northwest of the Louisville Airport, say altitude. Yeah, I, I never saw the flash. Cruising at 2,000 okay, feet, zero nine six. So what button are you hitting? Number zero nine six, uh, roger. And you're proceeding uh, directly Watch. to the Louisville Airport? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm hitting this button right here. 96. On mine, oh, okay. it's this little button oh. underneath the Okay. I don't know if you could hear me or not. Yep. Mine's different than yours, though. Right, I get that. Yep. The last time I accidentally shut off my uh, altimeter broadcast. Remember, 6318, tell me your radar contact. Uh, one zero miles northeast of the Louisville Airport. Uh, so requested to push. Oh, uh, uh, one seven left. Okay. Push to identify. Okay. Yeah, would that be the ILS or one of the two RNAVs? So you only push the uh, ILS. We'll do the ILS. When you push to identify, correct? Number six three one eight. Show me expect better vectors for the ILS from a one to seven left approach. Uh, one seven left approach. Uh, radar vectors of one eight room. One seven left. Let me look at the text. Sorry, tree. Uh, That's okay. Approach. No worries. You still read me? Left. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. One seven left. ILS. One seven left. Yeah, I'm not gonna bug you while you're doing that. One seven left. ILS. That's RNAV, RNAV. So it's gonna be this one. And we'll do this. And remember, zero nine or six, you are uh, proceeding direct to Louisville Airport, correct? Yes, I'm proceeding to Louisville Airport, zero nine or six. I don't. Just making sure. I just pulled up the approach. Number one H Romeo, fly heading three four zero. Three four zero. Three four zero. Three four zero. Forgot to say your call sign. Uh, one eight Romeo. Four zero. There we go. So, almost like I don't know what I'm doing with Navigraph, I was able to find, and I should have done this before, I mean, you plan these things out, right? I should have done this ahead of time and had this ready, but here's the runway 17 left. I'm on the approach tab, and just like he said, there's an ILS, and then there's two RNAVs. And so, we're using the ILS approach. So, I've got that overlaid over the airport here, and it looks like he's vectoring me out to thunder, to thund. And, we'll and November zero nine or six contact Louisville Tower one two four point two. So I need to know the frequency. It's one 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 nine five. 
contacting tower one two four point two. Oh, man, almost know what I'm doing. Almost know what I'm doing. Putting one one nine dot five. One one nine dot five. Hey. And you missed five sixty nine. Say uh, current airspeed. Airspeed uh, two forty nine. You missed five sixty nine. I think that wind must be pushing you because you're like 40 knots higher on the ground speed. There we go. Okay, we got the signal. You need to slow down? No, no, you're fine. Roger. And remember, 18 Romeo, flight heading 250. Uh, 250 for 18 Romeo. 250, 250. Yeah, UPS 569, descend and maintain 4000. Uh, 4000, UPS 569. 50, 250, 250. Go. Nice. Beautiful night tonight, right? Look at these stars. Come on. Beautiful night tonight. Very. All right, got to look for that glide slope. Oh my God. I had a hard time with the glide slope last time, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I've got one seven zero tuned in and on the, uh, the course, we're tuned into that uh, ILS uh, frequency. We should start seeing this coarse needle. Uh, Number 18 Romeo, fly heading uh, 230. Uh, 230 for 18 Romeo. 230. Here we go. Take a look at what he's doing for us here. So we took off and we came up this way. And now he's kind of vectoring me in to intercept. And I want to intercept Thunder. Thunder's 16.9 miles. 170 degrees, which I got tuned in. What altitude do I need to be at? Uh, 5,000. I'm only at 3,000. So we may not pick it up just yet. It's going to be up above me. Let's see how that goes. Whew. It's almost an emergency procedure to fly, like, fly an ILS in this aircraft. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, uh, 569 heavy, reduce speed of 210 knots, okay. then uh, turn right heading at 080. Oh, zero. Mm -hmm. uh, you got his uh, uh, private pilot. Uh, one zero and turn uh, right. right, Sagan heading. Uh, zero 080. Zero. In a zero warrior. Eight zero. The FAA design E. And uh, 210 knots. Yep, down to 210 knots. Giving me the check ride made a big point to say don't fly instrument in this aircraft, it's there to get you out of an inadvertent weather encounter. I know a lot of folks disagree with this assessment. Number 18 Romeo, you are seven miles from a slugger. Turn left, heading 200. Maintain the 3000 until established on the localizer. No Dallas, runway 17 left approach. Uh, 170 for 18 Romeo will maintain 3000 until I pick up the localizer 18 Romeo. And heading is uh, 200. 200. I think 569 heavy. That flux, I was talking to ground there. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm getting... If it's 569 heavy, you're seven miles from Spires. Turn right, yeah, I'm heading I'm 1 to 40, maintain 4,000 until established on the localizer. Clear to Alice from a 1 to 7 to right approach.
All right, I should be seeing this. I should be seeing this. Uh, this course indicator coming in soon. Come on, baby. UPS uh, five sixty nine, Louisville approach. Send it. Okay, you dismiss that entire thing. Here it comes. And UPS 569. Let's see here. Turn left. Heading 200. Right 200? No, left 200. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to disconnect, sorry. Yeah, all right, I'll just try to keep it sequenced with the slow piper there. It's all good. Sorry about that. I'll see you. Number 6218, Romeo, contact Louisville Tower 124.2. Louisville Tower 124.2. 124.2. Two one point seven, calling ground J nine six. Have a good day. Good night. Yeah, Louisville Tower, November six three one eight Romeo, at three thousand established on the uh, localizer for one seven left. Number six three one eight Romeo, uh, Louisville Tower. Good evening. Wind one six zero at eight on the one seven left. Clear to land. How would this approach terminate? This will be a uh, full stop uh, when you run me. Roger, 1 8 Romeo, runway set, 1 7 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 1 7 left. Off that localizer just a hair. There she comes. But yeah, uh, to your point there, unscheduled descent. Uh, you know, did this get me through some adverse weather conditions? You know, if I was in adverse weather conditions, it sure did. Uh, he vectored me right in, and yeah, I could have gotten you even even tighter into the approach oh. if I would have thought of it. Because with a slow aircraft like yourself, that's usually what we want to do is get get you in about as close as we can. Oh. Oh, that's true, right? Yeah, since you're going to be going slow, and I don't want the 747 behind you to run you over. Exactly. Neither do I. <laughs> oh, good to know, off, uh, unscheduled descent. Off, off, off schedule descent, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's great to get your input, uh, and we certainly appreciate it on the 7-3 as well. So, uh, yeah, any and all input is very much appreciated. We're just stumbling our way along here. Want to be pilots, and... Uh, Having a great time doing it, right? Yeah, the, th the thing about this plane is you c you could totally figure out where you are with two VOR needles. You just kind of cross -re cross reference the uh, the distance and the the bearing from any two VORs, and you can figure out where you are. Right. It's it's definitely a learned skill, though. Yeah, just so you know, Fox, usually when you go on the approach like that, you usually slow down to somewhat close to your, like, landing speed. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm, I'm bringing her down now. That, that's why you're having to nose down so much. Yeah, bring her down now. Okay, let's get in a notch of flaps. That'll help me control my airspeed here a little bit. Well, thank you for that off schedule descent. Yeah, I get that. Descent, you know, I I like to fly like without GPS a lot of the time. There's sometimes I go in the middle of you know some event on Fatsim and some jet that you know only has the VOR needles, and then I have to explain to like delivery like, hey, I can't Louisville fly Tower, Cessna 10906, holding short right one seven <laughs> left. I'd like to do another takeoff. And I get it if you're flying commercial. It's all about efficiency and cost and 
point A to point B, and uh, totally get that. And uh, one, one, one zero zero nine six level tower, Roger. Uh, hold short, one seven left. I got landing traffic. I got the glide slope. It's right here. Roger, dead, hold short, one seven left. Zero nine six. So if I fly level, it's going to start dropping because I'm going over the top of the glide yeah, slope. Flux, you know, if you look at your HSI, which is the uh, the needles that are that are in like the middle of your whole right there. ten pack there. Yeah, right the there. Bottom. I see it. Yeah, I see it right there. I got yeah, it. That, yeah, that one also has the glide slip on it. It's probably a little more accurate on that. Ten is zero nine six. Nice. If you could squawk zero two four two. Roger that, Oscar. Descent. That's what I fly. The Baron. Squawk like zero four zero two zero nine six. My favorite plane. The turbocharged one, of course. Uh, zero nine six will be uh, zero two four two. Go high. Zero two four two. Zero nine six. Here we are. Wow! I'm actually seeing the glide slope now. I mean, I had task saturation in the past where my brain wouldn't let things come into focus, but you know now I'm seeing it here, and I'm seeing it here, um, and you know that's you know thanks to. The support and help and stuff, man. It's good stuff. I'm I'm doing it. You know, we got to do a few one of these days is have you simulate like weather conditions where you basically only see the runway once you hit your decision height. Right. I did I did that in the 737 once when I was learning to fly it. Ooh, that is actually scary. All right, full stop. Here we go. Oh, baby. Oof. Oof. Oh, that was bad. Am I going to make the taxiway? Yes. And when I army, you can make the left at the golf yeah, and contact ground 121.7. Oh, at golf. Off schedule descent. Yep. Yeah, hang on, hang on. One person doing it all, you could miss There's somebody them. there. Hey, you, got, you got an aircraft right there. Yeah, folks. I know. I got to keep going. I was trying to... And one of if you can, make the right back onto the runway and taxi down to the next one, please. Yep. Somebody uh, has to fly, and, and the other guy does all that stuff. Down the runway and at golf. one eight me. Yep, one eight you make the left at the next taxi. We're in contact ground point Especially seven. Have a great night. Conditions. We'll do you too. Thanks. From what I've seen. All right, looking for that yellow line. Where's that yellow line? Uh, here we go. Cowboy old Cody, there you are, bud. Why are you in the right plot spot? What the hell? Is this a runway? I can't. Okay, I, uh, I, I. You, you have Navigraph. I know, but I have the approach chart on it. I'm on a friggin' runway. Oh my friggin' god. <laughs> And zero nine six on departure, make left traffic with one six zero at eight. Okay, Runway one seven left, request takeoff. Oh my God! I just hosed this, hosed it. Yep. Clear for takeoff, one seven left. Okay, nice. Where the heck am I? Oh my God! Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. Oh, man. oh man, I couldn't hear Tower if he was calling me. Oh, Icebird, man. Woo! Oh man. Oh yeah, you're in the other end of the airport, Fox. Yep. Move ground. November six three when a Romeo is is uh, clear the active band. Uh, ready to hand off to ground, maybe. I uh, got lost there for a second. When a Romeo, you say again. Uh. Got lost there for a second, but I think I got my uh, wits back about me. Do I uh, need to be handed over to ground? Is ground on? Yeah, ground's still on. You can call him 121.9, or Christian 121.7, and you're on the Air National Guard ramp now. 
Thank you for that. One two one dot seven. One eight Romeo. One two one dot seven. Oh man. Am I red? I feel like I'm blushing. One two one dot seven. It was going so good tonight. Hey, November six three one eight Romeo possible pilot deviation. You can your copy of number. You uh, the guard ramp. They went for work with you. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, one eight Romeo was ready to copy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Louisville ground November six three one eight Romeo. Uh, Requesting taxi to uh, uh, FBO ramp parking currently uh, situated at the uh, uh, National Guard uh, ramp. November 318, Romeo, Lobo Ground. Welcome back. You can taxi the ramp via left turn on Echo, then right turn Echo 4. Have a good night. Echo, Echo 4, and you have a good night too as well. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I got tears in my eyes. Hello, Sky 2723. Push and start, you can call me for taxi. You can expect runway 17. I'm coming, Tree. I see you over there. I see you. Your, your, your name tag is just above the building. And I can see movement. But in your defense, you did all the hard stuff. You're at night, and I did daytime. Oh, man. And Iceberg, man, it's so good to see you again. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back, Iceberg. Oh, cool. Wow, a month vacation. What? Dang, that's a vacation. Iceberg, uh... Had the whole month off. Wife and I just did an epic vacation for our 33rd anniversary. We'll try to stream tomorrow or the next day. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. Mia, I'll give you a shout out here in a second. Let me get situated here. And I can turn my strobes off. Yeah, it was a little embarrassing. That's okay. It's all part of the learning experience. We're it figuring is. it out. There's tree. Ooh, we got a heavy up in front of us there. Yeah, he's, he's moving. It looks like it. Looks like a heavy, but he might be a, like a a jet or something that I don't have. It is a heavy. It is a heavy. It's a three twenty. There we go. All right. Mark and break is set. Okay. Uh, let's pull lean on the mixture there. Here we go. And turn all the lights off. We'll leave the nav on for a second. There we go. Okay, nav is coming off. And that's a VAT sim night. Huh? Yes. <laughs> You did way more than me, but yeah, it's fun to get back in the saddle and uh, get used to everything again. Right? There's tree over there. Uh, let's give uh, off schedule descent a, uh, a shout out here. He's getting back to streaming. He mentioned. Uh, let's see, exclamation shout out. Oh no. Off schedule descent. All right, let's let's listen to this and see how this goes. Here we go. 
Uh, off schedule set. This set says great stream. Love the old school flying. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, it's my Thank dad's. You. Yeah, my dad's plane was old school, and so I'm trying to recreate that here in the sim. A couple other things I need to do. We need to set this panel up, and I need to set this panel up. So let's look at our departure procedure. Oh wow! Look at that. The ATC would give us a uh, an very cool. Let's turn the music off. Let's hide that. Nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll I'll smash that follow button here in a second. And uh, yeah, thanks for the support. I'll schedule descent. Um, treetop. Um, God. Uh, Everybody that was on the stream tonight, man. Uh, Icebird, thanks for popping in. Um, what was it? What was it? Um, some kind of Corvus was on ATC over at Bowman. That was awesome. STW, as always, thanks again for the support and, you know, challenging us here and there. Um, it's great, great experiences, you know. We kind of muff it up a little bit, but at the same time, we're learning a ton, and it'll get easier and easier the next time. Like me picking up the glide slope and being able to observe that and and stuff was um, an epiphany for me tonight. I really enjoyed that. Um, that's great. You're welcome yeah, to the shout great. out. Nice. That's all good off schedule. Nice. All right, Tree. Thanks for being there again as you know my dependable friend and co-host. Here at the channel. Uh, sure, a lot of fun, Flocks. Thanks, thanks for a great evening, and thanks everybody that joined in. Very much appreciated, and uh, yeah, another one of the books, and we learned some more things. Right. Every time we learn something. We had a DH paradox with a sub this evening. Um. Oh man, there was a lot going on, man. Um, Sky Command came in with a with a raid. Um, uh, Cap Captain uh, Nabib followed us tonight. Uh, we had some sound alerts from uh, Viking Hammer. That was fun. That was along with uh, DH Paradox and Viper. Uh, STW joined us. Uh, Treetop Flyer re resubscribed. Thanks again for that continued support, my friend. Red. Uh, some my pleasure. Yep. Some kind of Corvus with the follow or subscribed and a follow tonight. Uh, we had a hype train kicking off there for a little bit. Almost made it to level one. Uh, but, oh, man, that's so good. Uh, spoof FX with a follow. Off schedule descent with a follow. Uh, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Loved it. Woo! Oh, STW is coming in with the sub oh, right thanks. at the end. God dang, <laughs> man. That's awesome. SW. Thanks, off schedule. <laughs> thanks, STW. Thank you for that, man. Much appreciated. Nice. All right. That's a great way to end the stream. We'll look for somebody to raid. SCW, how much longer are you going to be on? Uh, like less than 10 minutes. Well, let me send folks your way in case it's their first time. So uh, we'll see you over there in a second. Yeah, you can send it to someone else. You know, I've, right. I've actually right. gotten raided by a couple different people tonight. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll look for somebody else. Cool. All right, man. Hey, thanks again, SCW. You're welcome. Thanks, SCW. And with that, good night all, and until next time, fly safe and see you in the and skies. That, good night all, right. and until next time. <laughs> see ya!